vanquish all who stand against you, noble cousin. I and your relatives upon Olympus shall assist you in so doing. Ha ha ha, little Hades! I would certain you the wherewithal to thin the ranks of the betraying river denizens who fled my surface seas to your father's domain. I bid you good fish hunting forevermore. Uh. <laughs> Orphe tells me the queen, she's been settling in just fine down at your house. Must be different having a lady like that around. How's Hades Senior taking it, if I may ask? Oh, he's taking it about as well as he's taken anything ever now that you mention it. Still very much himself, mind you, but still, it's been a welcome change. Glad to hear it. Orphe always likes singing for an audience more than I did, and it sounds like she's a good one. You bear the blessing of Athena, yes. She would protect you from your enemies, whilst I would rather that you slay them and be done. Should I check in again real quick there, boss? Do you want my witty conversation next time, or straight to the boons? Definitely witty conversation, Lord Hermes. Boons are more than welcome after that. Ha, <laughs> good. I like these little chats. Take care now, boss. You. I always wondered, sir, what was Achilles like? During his youth, I mean. If you can say. Uh -huh. How to describe what somebody was like. Everyone who saw him on the battlefield agreed he was magnificent, stranger. His allies and his enemies alike. But there was more to him, I think. A certain outlook. A sense of justice. I knew him before he was a warrior. Only reason I suppose I liked him. Thanatos. I only have a little time until my next assignment, but this shouldn't take too long. You so called champions could use a lesson in humility. Lesson one don't mess with either one of us. Match. Behold, Asterius! Our hated enemy has come to be dispatched before a loving crowd once more! To think your father and that sweet Persephone, they were together down there all along. I was so certain that your father's heart was gold. That's just the thing with love, dearest, that sometimes it surprises even me. Cerberus again accepts the sack. I owe you one, boy. Be right with you, father. Father? The sea and air are very still this eve. Though I suppose that is about to change. The never-learning Zagreus, then, carelessly fell off a precipice or something, plunging him into the rapids of the Styx. Looks like you have everything under control. Nice work, Hypnos. <laughs> yeah! I have a message for you from the fallen warrior over in Elysium, Achilles, sir. He says he simply said to let you know to risk it all. To risk it all? He said to risk it all. Yes. Is there something significant about that phrase? When last he said to risk it all to me, I didn't listen to him then, but should have. I should have. He's asking you to take another chance. No, he's giving me another chance, I think. I... Leave me, lad, for now. Thank you for telling me. I'm due to visit Mount Olympus once again. So please be good to one another while I'm out. Take care, mother. Notoriously vicious Cerberus is watching quietly his master's court. Bye for now. Doubtless I shall get you for that one next time. Keep it down. Um, Nix, at first I thought I maybe should ignore this, but 
I wanted to give you greetings from Lord Ares, who seems rather interested in you. Ah, yes, the god of war. Among all the Olympians, he often struck me as much more accepting of our kind, born of the underworld. You're not... wait, you're not interested in him. I mean, he's... murderous. Polite, though, I don't know. I take an interest in whomever I take interest in, my child. I thank you for the message. Anytime. Oh, hi! Hey, Prince! I saw the Orpheus! He got some time away! Did you do that? He's visiting his news, that's what he said! That's so exciting! I mean, they've been separated the whole time they've been dead! They have a lot of catching up to do for sure, though I think they're going to be all right. Skelly. Sure could use a good smack and a jaw from you right about now. <laughs>